Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, to my right, we got Colin Kernan. She is with, um, the, she's the volunteer coordinator with Meals on Wheels through the Musical Aging Services, which promotes the ind independence, dignity, and health of aging adults. And those who serve and them. And those who serve them. I want to say it a lot more for the benefit for you guys. You've been coming on. Um, Missoula Asian Service has been coming on my show for many years, and this is a, a new year. Yeah. And we're glad you can join us early this month to talk about uh, the Meals and Wheels program. Yeah. And Larry Kuthenruther, um is here as well. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. All right, awesome. Because you gave me that look, and then like, uh, <laughs> you probably get that. You probably get that look quite a bit. Quite a bit. Like, yes, I like, do. Mm, yeah, that's good. <laughs> but you're here to talk about uh, serving as a driver for Meals on Wheels, and one of the really good questions that I read on the sheet as well is that what makes what uh, keeps you coming back to the Meals on Wheels? You know, uh, being a volunteer for Meals on Wheels is very rewarding for the individual. But I realize that it's not only feeling good, but it's also making a difference in a person's life. Mm -hmm. And I get to make a difference in a person's life probably 20 times a day when I deliver meals. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's extremely rewarding. And this is a, a good time as well because a lot of times uh, these people don't have any interaction with a lot of, especially during the winter. It's like yeah. we were talking about this a little bit. It's like it's so cold outside. And, you know, slipping and falling is such a big deal for an aging adult is that once you fall and you hurt yourself, it's, it can kind of be a, a big problem because yeah. my dad was one of those uh, people who fell. He had to have surgery on his shoulder yeah. because he fell. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's crazy. Just, just a simple fall can just make you um, completely homebound. Yeah. It does. Yeah. And, that, and that is the, the primary qualifier for a, a person to receive Meals on Wheels is that they are uh, primarily homebound and unable to get to the grocery store or do meal prep. So um, everybody that we serve is homebound. We were talking also about how in the winter, uh, the snow and ice and fear of falls uh, increases that, that status of, of homebound for a lot of people. So we'll see our numbers go up in the winter. Yeah. And, uh, but we're, of course, happy to serve all yep. of our clients, everybody. Yeah. And Missoula yeah. Services does a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. including fall prevention programs and also uh, post-fall programs to help people as well. But we're talking about Meals on Wheels. We are. And <laughs> every day, Monday through Friday, yes, um, you guys deliver meals to people. All the we good do. folks of Missoula, all the uh, golden yeah. oldies. <laughs> yeah, and you know, one thing too, like you were saying, Larry, for so many of our clients, because they are homebound. They may not see anybody throughout the day until their Meals on Wheels driver arrives. True. And so not only are you guys bringing the good nutrition, but also that it's so important, that social the element. Yeah. yeah. And a, a warm smile goes a long way with that warm meal, I tell you. Yep. And you're, uh, this is a, a call out, a, a call to action in a way yes. to get volunteers to volunteer their time to go deliver meals to these yeah. folks uh, who are Missoula from the very beginning, a lot of yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. You bet. They hold a lot of um, <clears throat> history just in their own noggins. That's true. <laughs> and it's interesting just to kind of hear a lot of their stories. So um, be a part of uh, Meals on Wheels. You were a Meals on Wheels driver for I a was. while, Scott. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, like, it's like you have to have so a good amount of time between about. 10 a.m. and about 1, 1.30 mm -hmm. p.m. roughly, depending upon how what your trip's like. Larry, um, I, I don't want to talk too much, but tell us about your um how, what kind of driver you are for Meals on Wheels, because they're different types of drivers. Well, I like to think that I'm the best. No, <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Larry. I, I'm actually a sub, and, and I sub three days a week, and what I do is I just go down. Uh, I'll go down every the three days that I deliver, and Colleen gives me a route if she has one open. If she doesn't, then I just went down for the camaraderie of talking to, to the other drivers for a half hour, 45 minutes. But uh, we have uh, quite a crew, don't we? Yes, we do. It's a very, yeah. a very warm, welcoming it crew. Is. I'd say. It is. It's very rewarding to go down there and just. It's like a coffee clutch down there. Yeah. And and uh, <laughs> so it, it gets it gets me out of the house as well. I could be homebound in the winter if it wasn't for something to do. Mm -hmm. So 
this uh, is motivation to get up and get out and, and see other people. And help people. It feels like and, this, and help people. It feels like this uh, is like, kind of feels like a uh, Meals on Wheels driver's cafe. Yeah, Just right. about, yeah. <laughs> what, right. are those, what are those called? It's, uh, it's like, you know, the bus drivers have a, like a, a room area. And then, of course, you know, cab drivers also have like a designated area as well. I can't, I can't like the pit. We or, call it dispatch. Dispatch, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a break room. could be a, a coffee clatch, you know. Or yeah. <laughs> something like that. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, where can people find more information about? People can find more information uh, at our Missoula Aging Services website, which is Missoula Aging Services. Uh, dot org. Mm -hmm. um, also, you could call Missoula Aging Services seven two eight seven six eight two. Um, and I also want to get in here too. We are looking for people with clean driving records. Um, so that we can yeah. just get people right out there, you know, a demonstration of insurance, yeah. things like that. So those are other qualifiers to be a Meals on Meals yeah, volunteer Yeah, is really but... easy. You call them and they're just like, hey, let's set up an appointment. You go on to the offices yep. at uh, Missoula Agent Services. They, you interview them? Uh, I don't. No, you get interviewed by the uh, volunteer coordinator yep. at Missoula Agent Services because there's so many people at Missoula Agent Services <laughs> making um, a lot of people's lives a lot easier here in Missoula. That's right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. I'm always yep. happy to have you on here. Is there anything else you want to mention before we go? Well, what should we should we talk about how, you know, if people are looking for New Year's resolutions and they want to get out and help their community, come that's down and join one. us. Yeah, awesome. that's a yeah. good one. That's very good. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Thank I really you, appreciate Scott. you uh, thanks, Scott. for joining me this morning. If you want more information, go to MissoulaAgentServices.org.